Taurus, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, this is 7D Tarot. Taurus, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot, and stay tuned till the end, excuse me, of your reading where we'll pull a final message from source using your animal spirit. All right, so let's dive right in. All right, so a little bit of drifting is going on. This drifting is causing you to almost like get further away from your inner being. And this can be, this is an easy fix, but you gotta understand, whoa, in order for you to connect with your higher self and become so magnetic that everything comes, this drifting has to end. Now this is an easy fix. Source is telling you the past is beyond your control. Focus on the now. The past is beyond your control. That's all it is, right? Think about it. If you're telling yourself, oh, I should have done this. I shouldn't have done this. Why did this happen? Why did that happen? That is beyond your control. You have zero control over that. So don't spend one more second giving that attention. It's like trying to control the weather. It's not gonna work. It's a waste of time, right? So what do you do? Just go with the flow on this. Whatever happened in the past was necessary. Trust me, you collected data. You are here on planet Earth. You're literally a walking supercomputer, right? You're collecting data from the moment you open your eyes. Data, 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 data. That's really what you're doing. Some of the data is joyful, some of it's painful, but it's all experience and it is all very valuable. Guys, you know Amazon, for example, you know people think that Amazon makes money off products. You know the number one way they make money is actually off the cloud. It's their data collection. So I'm just letting you know, data is so valuable, especially when you use it for experiences. So right now you're being told, just focus on the now. The now is where it's at. Now, why is that? You got the star card, you got the seven of wands. When you're focusing on that now, and right now source is telling you to create and protect the bubble around yourself, really don't be influenced during this time frame. You are going to be in a position to be very magnetic, and right now you're going to be in a position to feel like you're going to be responding more rather than reacting. Because right now the angels are telling you, respond, don't react. Respond, don't react, right? Things are going to be happening for you in your life that are a test. These lessons that are coming up, when you pass them, it's almost like you're gonna get a gold star and new opportunities come. So promotion comes at work, meeting your soulmate, getting that bonus, getting that health, right? It all comes when you pass these tests. Now, it's good to know that you're in a test. It's good to know what to do, right? Imagine like you just got the, 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 the sheet that, that tells you, well, I don't wanna say cheat sheet, but you know what I'm saying? Like you know what to do. When if something happens to you in your life in the short term, like for example, your, your landlord comes up and says, we're selling the house, you gotta move. Now, spirit is testing you to see, are you going to respond or react? A reaction is like, oh my goodness, what do I do, right? Being like, oh, it's your fault, right? Something like that. When you respond, you're gonna be like, hey, you know what? Thanks for telling me, congratulations, and I can't wait to use you as a reference, right? That is a response. It's calculated. It's not emotionally invested. So right now, you're being told to respond. Do not react. Now, why is that? Look at the good stuff that other way too. You're in a position right now where you are going to be in a energy where you're attracting people that have the same vibrational frequency as yourself. When you are focusing on you becoming the best version of yourself, what happens is you are so magnetic that everyone is drawn to you. And right now, Source is telling you in order for this to happen, find joy in the simple things. Find joy in the simple things. That's it. For example, like the simple things for me to make me magnetize or when I'm going for a walk, I'm not problems solving. I'm not on my phone. I'm literally looking at the clouds going, wow, look at the clouds. They're so beautiful. Ah, the prana, the air smells so good. Or when I'm eating food, I'm not looking at a screen, right? I'm chewing my food going, wow, I could actually taste all these ingredients. Wow, this is so cool. But the simple things in life, when I exercise, I'm just aware in that moment. I'm actually meditating as I'm exercising. I'm not trying to get to another, another exercise, right? So this is what's going on with you. Find the joy in the simple things in your life and you will no longer be feeling as if you're missing out. Now, speaking of missing out, you do have the four cups and the five of wands. Now this, this again, a picture says it out, is a thousand words. If you take a look at her, right, she's missing, she feels like she's missing out on the one cup taken away and now she's putting pressure on herself. But there's three cups there. So source is telling you right now, 
you gotta accept the rhythms of life, right? Accept the rhythms of life. So if you feel like your focus and awareness is on something you don't have, that's because you're being pulled in a certain direction. It's not because you know the universe is out to get you. No, this is a friendly universe. So right now you gotta go with the rhythms of life. Where is it guiding you? Where is it taking you? You know, life is like a tango dance, like salsa. You kind of just gotta go with it, right? You can't just, you know, force it. Almost like life is like, imagine if you stand in front of a wave. Good luck with that. But imagine if you ride the wave, whee, and that's what you want to do, the rhythm of life. That right there is going to show you and guide you where you need to go, and then your life will be effortless rather than efforted. Now, speaking of effortless, nine of pentacles, page of pentacles, the opportunity of wealth, right? This is a promotion coming for you at your work. And right now, source is telling you in order to get this promotion, at first, something is going to happen that's going to seem like a challenge, but it's not. You got to start seeing challenges as opportunities. I repeat, challenges as opportunities. Your angels are telling you that they're going to present an opportunity to you. It's a blessing in disguise. Surprise, right? If they gift it to you, it'll just be too easy. So right now, this is going to come in the form at first it's going to seem like a challenge but it's actually an opportunity when you look at it from that perspective when life is like a puzzle a riddle to figure out rather than oh my goodness one thing after another it's like it's a problem i don't even like saying the word problem i like to say solutions right so after one solution another solution comes that's just the the, the rhythm of life right so right now major opportunity coming your way. Now, I am going to show you how to clear a little bit of energy because I do see here holding on to some sort of financial energy with that four pentacles energy. You're afraid to spend some money. You're afraid to pay off some bills or have the money to pay off some bills. This is completely normal, right? Right now, I'll show you how to clear this energy. So in the comment section, Taurus, I want you to write down the following affirmation. Affirmation means effortless attention. Easiest thing you'll do, but it'll help you clear the energy with the snap of a finger. Write down, I am open to abundance. I am open to abundance, that's it. You're quantum entangling with the energy of abundance, you're letting go the energy of scarcity, and you're taking your first step. I am open to abundance, write that down in the comment section. Now, this freedom, this being open to abundance, this really welcoming what is your birthright, which is being rich, this energy is going to get stronger and stronger, and during this time frame, your angels are telling you courage is the gateway to freedom. Be courageous, be bold, be fearless, march to the beat of your own drum. Courage is the gateway to freedom, right? In order to ask someone on a date, you need courage. In order to start a business, you need courage. In order to ask your boss for a promotion, you need courage. So use courage, right? Believe in yourself. Be confident. Do the things that make you feel confident in yourself. I know when I am not rushing, I am more confident. When I exercise, I am more confident. When I am learning, I am more confident. But I know when I'm just, you know, Netflix and chilling, you know, day after day after day, I don't feel too confident. So right now you gotta ask yourself, what makes you feel confident, right? What makes you feel confident? What makes you feel courageous? Because that is how you move forward. And that is really what your angels are telling you. That is how you detach from external outcomes, right? You are no longer going to be attached to these external outcomes. And instead, you will love the journey. You will love the process. And you won't be telling yourself, I will be happy when the event takes place. You will say, I am happy now. Now, you also got the seven of uh, cups and the eight of wands, and there are multiple offerings coming your way. And source is telling you to keep it simple. Like simplicity is the key to a tranquil life. So when these opportunities come, if you're waiting too long to make them, you'll miss the boat. So all you gotta do is remember simplicity is the key to a tranquil life. Keep it simple. Which one is the most effortless one? Which one is like fits well? Not which one makes the most money, which one feels the best, which one is effortless? Which one could you do with your eyes closed, right? That is keeping things simple and that is the energy that Source wants you to follow. All right, Taurus, now I will pull a final message from Source and I will use your animal spirit to do so. So let's find out what your animal spirit is. My favorite, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, stag spirit. Look at the message. Take the lead. Take the lead. What is that? We're gonna look at our snazzy feather. Oh my lover. So what does this really mean? Taking the lead means not waiting for anything or anybody. Understanding everything you're looking for is right there for you. It is so simple. So imagine right now you want to go to the gym, but you don't have a gym partner. 
It doesn't matter. Take the lead and go. Imagine if right now you're telling yourself, I want to make some money. I don't know where to start. Just go onto YouTube and type in how to make passive income. You got to lead the dance. Imagine you're in a relationship and your partner's not romantic. Well, you got to be romantic first, right? Wear something a little extra nice. Who knows? But you got to take the lead, right? When you take the lead, you not only are going to get results, but you get the momentum going. And all your angels and guides need in order to help you because of free will is you getting the momentum going. Then they help with the snowball effect. They're like the wind beneath your wings. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.